So tonight, Naveed and I are making a spicy chicken sandwich. It's a dupe of the Chick-fil-A spicy chicken sandwich, and we've tried it out already, you guys. It's so bomb. This is like our third time making it, and we wanna share with you guys the ingredients. So far, we have added a cup of flour with some cayenne pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and also smoked paprika. Also, we added some pink, pink Himalayan salt, cornstarch, and some baking soda. So in a separate bowl, we have one teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of Himalayan salt, and one teaspoon of black pepper. We're gonna add one egg to the mix, and then we're gonna add some milk to the mix. And this is what we're gonna dip the chicken in first. And and then once we dip the chicken in this, we're gonna dip it in our flour mix. So I'm just whisk, whisking the spicy chicken flour mix and it smells super spicy, you guys. Super flavorful and I'm excited. And then I'm just gonna whisk that together. Now I am whisking the other mix. Naveed is going to add one cup to the mix. One cup of milk, whole milk to the mix. And look at how beautiful that is, you guys. While we are waiting, we had our oven preheating to 425. Added some parchment paper to a baking pan. And then voila, we got some crisp Cut organic potato fries. Shout out to Sprouts for hooking it up. What? I cut these all by hand. Yeah, yeah. I let Naveed handle the chicken. Your girl does not like touching chicken. So we coated it in the milk coating. We want to get it nice and coated. So what I forgot to mention to you guys. Ooh, that looks beautiful is that we had marinated the chicken prior in some Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt, so that the chicken isn't like dry and it's more juicy. And mm -hmm. it's so much better that way, you guys. Shout out to the to the Persian people inspiring that. <laughs> Naveed's peeps. Ooh, look at that chicken. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, these lovely chickens are ready to go. And we actually used chicken thighs this time, right? Yeah. Last time we used chicken breasts. So today we are using chicken thighs, organic chicken thighs. We got Naveed. Naveed. Checking heating. if the oil is hot. Checking if the oil is hot. So it's not. He's It'd be hot. boiling. He's hot. <laughs> mm. I could say that because he's my mm. husband, guys. Look at it. It's hot or it's not hot? So the oil that we're using to fry our chicken in is avocado oil. And it's the Chosen Foods 100% pure avocado oil. And we decided we wanted to go with this one because it has a high, uh, a high burning point, like a high smoke point. So it can go up to 500 degrees. Um, so yeah, just make sure you use a high heat oil. Woo! Yes. We have the temperature at a high heat. It's actually not that high, it's on low. We've just had it on for a while. Now you can, wow, that looks amazing. So we're gonna let the chicken fry for five minutes on each side and the heat is at a medium high and our stove, this is like a medium high because this side usually gets hot like really, really fast. So um, it looks like it's not at a medium high, but it is. So yeah, we're gonna do five minutes on each side and then it'll be ready. Ooh. Beautiful. We are now flipping it after five minutes. And 
Look at how beautifully brown this is, guys. I think I'm gonna have Navid's second sandwich. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> That's the happy dance, guys. Also, if you're wondering, yes, I am wearing the same shirt that I wore in the baking video. And I just love this shirt, you guys. Don't judge me. It's so comfy. I love the color. And I love the fact that I painted on it. So you might see me wearing it more than once. I might be an outfit repeater, but who isn't? Okay, so we have our brioche buns. And Navid is putting butter on each He's spraying butter on the buns and we're gonna put it on the pan. Actually, he's putting it on <laughs> the pan, my bad. He's putting it on this comal and, and then he's gonna add the buns to it. Wow, look at that. Look at him go. And if you're wondering, we got the brioche buns. We usually buy them from Trader Joe's, but we discovered that Sprouts has like brioche buns that come in a pack of eight, as if we really need eight brioche buns, but they've lasted us a pretty long time, a pretty, yeah, long time. So it's not a bad investment. <laughs> so we got our chicken, our buns about to grill, and our french fries are nice and golden. Amazing. Thank you, Lord. I'm about to devour this. No, we ha we still need to put it together, but look at how crispy that looks. And for the sauce, we usually have like a side of Polynesian, but uh, we don't. So we've been using the Aleppo sauce from Trader Joe's and it's amazing, you guys. It almost, it kind of has that Polynesian flavor. Well, it's made with, let me read the ingredients. Let me read the ingredients. It's the honey Aleppo sauce, and honestly, this is so good, like, on a lot of things. We've even had it on our veggies before, but yeah. There's olive oil, honey, red wine, vinegar, crushed Aleppo pepper, salt, dried rosemary, dried thyme, and garlic powder. So it kind of has, like, a Polynesian flavor to it. It's like a sweet and tangy sauce, and... We just dip our sandwich in there and it's amazing, you guys. Okay, so we're finally topping the buns off with the chicken and voila, it's ready, guys. I'm so excited. Okay, can I record now? Yes. Okay, this is Naveed not being biased or anything. <laughs> But it's just too good. Yes? Mm. Okay, tell the peeps what you like about it. Well, number one, it's homemade. So I know what I'm putting into it. Mm. Number two, we fried in avocado oil. Mm -hmm. Not, um, there's just many other oils that restaurants use. Um, three, it's really crispy. <laughs> Number four, we marinated it with yogurt before, and it, you could tell it's like really juicy on the inside. Because the first time I made Show this, me. the first time I made this, that was a tiny bite you took. The first time you made this, what? The first time I made this chicken sandwich, we didn't marinate it in anything. We just did flour the the egg to flour, and it wasn't. Mine was a little dry, and so we did yogurt. And now it's like, it's really juicy. Yes. And the buns, they're beautiful and golden. It's yeah, like, they're just like the Chick-fil-A ones. Yes, no, way better. Mm. I saw that saliva though. <laughs> we already blessed it. Thank you, Jesus, for blessing us with this mayo. And um, yeah, I'm gonna dig in. How was it? Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> mm-hmm. You know what? The first two times we made this, we made it with um chicken breast. And chicken breast is huge, like it expands when we fry it, right babe? Mm-hmm. So like the chicken breasts are like 
super like bigger than the brioche buns so i think i like it better with the um the the what are these the chicken thighs yeah i think i like it better like that better i think i like it better like that because um the flour it actually gets um fried mm -hmm. because with the chicken breast um it was getting like it expanded so much that like <laughs> sometimes the flour wouldn't get fully fried like i'd get like mushy pieces but wait guys, we did breast before yeah we did breast and and um what Naveed had to do was kind of like pound the chicken down to flatten it. Oh, uh, yeah, the breast yeah. is huge. Yeah, the breasts. And Naveed cut the breasts like in half too. So like it would still like expand. But yeah, this is amazing, guys. We're going to enjoy dinner. We hope that you give this recipe a try. And if you do, show us, tag us on Instagram on your <clears throat> Insta stories. Um, Naveed's tag is at Sarugs and I'm it's Victoria Lynn. So yeah, we'd love to see your dishes, and tell us all about it. Woo -woo. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Peace.